Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a lip swatch video for you all. I wanted to introduce you guys to the latest collection from MAC Cosmetics, MAC Strip Down. This is the largest ever neutral collection of lipsticks, lip glosses and lip liners. It's not just two or three, it is an entire range. MAC Cosmetics have always created their products to suit every age, every gender, every race. They are very inclusive and diverse and this is exactly what this collection stands for. We have a fair bit of swatch to do so I'm gonna stop talking and let's jump right into the video thank you so much to Mac cosmetics for providing some goodies for the purpose of this video if you love a bit of color you wouldn't get it is for you providing a stunning pink base this would be beautiful on all skin tones Once I've applied that lipstick, I'm just going to add a lip liner over top. This is in the shade Soar. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This also has a beautiful pink undertone, so it works perfectly with the lipstick that we just applied. When wearing a bit of color, I love to use a lip liner to stop the color from bleeding. You can use lip liners before or after lipstick application, or on its own, depending on your preference. These two colors provide a sleek, put-together lipstick look, which I absolutely love. Next, we're swatching Pink Power. This is a stunning metallic-like pink. I think it would work fantastically with darker and deeper skin tones. If you love your nudie pink shades, this one fits right into that category. S Sexy, the perfect nude for deep skin tones. You can totally rock this if you are of a lighter skin tone, I'm not saying that you can't. It's just more deeper than your average nude. I did want to add a little bit of contrast, so I'm going over the edges using the Whirl Lip Liner. This is one of my favorite lip liners of all time. I've gone through two whole ones, which is very rare for me because I quite often don't use a lip liner. It's quite a deep nude shade with prominent purple undertones and it works great with any shade of lipstick to either create an ombre effect or intensify the color even more. This is a beautiful pink shade, probably suited more towards the deeper and darker skin tones. Unfortunately for me, it just tends to blend in with my skin a little bit too much. Still a beautiful shade and you can tell that I do have a slight pop of color on my lips. However, it just makes me look a little bit washed out. You guys know I love my nudes, so chances are I will be rocking this very, very often. I will just incorporate it with a deeper color lip liner or over top of a more nude lipstick. Does that make sense? I hope so. Moving on, I am going to remove that lipstick with a makeup remover, and then I'm just going to add some foundation on top of my lips. I like to do this before applying lipstick. I find that it just helps allow the color to pop even more. It's kind of like a primer. You know, you have an eye primer to help the eyeshadow pop more. This is kind of the same trick. The next shade is called Act Natural. This has more of a purple undertone, however it is very subtle. I wanted to pair it with the Boldly Bare Lip Pencil. I'm just going to run that over the edges, blending it into the lipstick to create an ombre effect. This is probably my favorite nude combo out of the entire collection. I just, I cannot get enough. I couldn't stop staring at myself in the mirror, which sounds so vain, but I just, I am in love and love and love with the color. If you're wanting something a bit more daring, say hello to Double Fudge. This is such a beautiful chocolate shade with red vibes. I'm pairing it with the Chestnut Lip Liner, which is more of a deeper chocolate shade. I'm not really one for dramatic shades, so to speak. As you guys know, I love my pale nudes, but I am absolutely loving this combo. I think I'm gonna wear it a lot more often. If you love orange undertones and orange shades, say hello to Down To An Art. This provides a dramatic peachy effect if used on lighter skin tones and a lovely nude peachy effect if used on darker skin.
Next, we're swatching Spice. I believe this has been in the MAC family for quite some time. Although I've never personally tried it, I have heard so much about it and I can see why. It's hard to actually describe this shade because one minute it looks like it carries orange undertones and then another minute it looks more brown. Maybe my eyes are playing tricks on me, I don't know. I do love this color and I love how it looks on its own. However, just because we can, I am going to add a super pale lipstick over top. This is Yes Baby. It is very, very pale, so it's probably best to use over darker lipsticks or lip liners if you want to brighten it up a bit or if you have deeper and darker skin tones. This would provide the beautifulest, that's not really a word, it would provide a beautiful nudie pink shade to your lips. Our last swatch is in the shade Dangerous Curves. This is a stunning mocha shade. It is a lip gloss, but don't let that fool you. It is still packed with pigment. I will have more information about the range down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.